I know there's a lot of factors, you know, in, in choosing your your site selection. Um, one of the things that came to my mind was uh, the grand opening. Um, I thought of you know factoring that in there. Would would that be a huge factor, or um, what are your thoughts on that being a decision on your site selection? Well, I don't traditionally let the grand opening be a decision on my site selection, but I do let the site selection be a decision on my grand opening. And the reason that is, is a great opportunity for you to show people who you are, what you do, and where you're doing it is a grand opening. Now, how you go about doing that is a debate. And I have my approach to doing it. I like opening a restaurant, and then about 30 days later, I have the grand opening. That way the employees are prepared to handle that. But I'll tell you, too often what happens is a restaurant wants to use the grand opening as an opportunity to drive sales for that one day or two days. When in reality, one of the best things you can do is give the food because you get everybody to your location, and you have it in more of a personalized relationship type approach. Now again, fast food to fine dining is different. The example I'm giving you here is more of a casual dining and above. And, and really the focus then needs to be about the personal relationship and the food, and come to the grand opening and see what we're doing and see where our location is so that now you know where my site's at. But that doesn't last very long. So you're going to have to impress them during that grand opening. And, and that impression that they get during that grand opening